Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will learn about the Lorentz curve and Gini coefficient. How to construct the Lorentz curve and what is the Gini coefficient? Okay, we will uh, learn it uh, with an example that was uh, asked by a brother to me in the Telegram channel. The question is like this: Consider the following distributions of incomes. We are being given the incomes of the two countries as uh, rather the income of uh, three individuals. In two countries as two three four is the income of three individuals individuals in country x and six nine twelve is the incomes of the individuals in country y uh, which country has high inequality or the inequality is same in both countries we have to see which country has uh, high inequality or whether both the countries have same inequality okay so we will see how to solve this very question first we should know what is meant by the Lorentz curve. This Lorentz curve is actually used to graphically uh, represent the income inequality. Okay, so it is actually like this. If I can graph it like this, it is. This is the line of equidistribution of income. Okay, when there is no inequality, our Lorentz curve will look like this, and typically our Lorentz curve is like this very curve okay so on this axis uh, we have the cumulative cumulative proportion of population and here we have cumulative proportion of income and this uh, line this straight line actually is the line of perfect equality that is if we write here let us say we have uh, here uh, let us say this is 10 20 30 and 40 in percentages and we have 10 uh, 20 30 40 up to 100 here we have also up to 100 I'm just explaining what is meant by this line so I will rub this out so when we have this line that is called the line of equidistribution of income this uh, is the cumulative percentage of population or this is cumulative uh, percentage of the income so on uh, on uh, x axis we take the cumulative in uh, sorry uh, cumulative population and y axis or vertical axis we take cumulative income okay so what does this line tell us it simply tells us that uh, this 10 percent of let us say this is population 10 percent of population owns 10 percent of total income in a country and similarly this 20 percent of population will own 20 percent of the total income in the country similarly we have this 40 percent of population will own a 40 percent of the total income in the country so we have equidistribution of income in case we have a straight line Lorentz curve but this is not the case no country has a straight line Lorentz curve okay so let's try to uh, construct now the Lorentz curve okay so what is uh, we uh, what is given us so how do we construct first we take the population let us say we take the country X okay for country X what we are being given we are being given the individual so I will write for country X we have individual individual we have three individuals let's say one two and three okay and corresponding to this their income is given as let us uh, write Y is income their income is given as two three and four so I will write here the first individual has two income second in individual has three income and third individual has four is income okay so what would be our first step first step is to see the proportion of income owned by the first individual what are the number of individuals we have three individuals total what is the total income this is 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 4 is 9 okay number of persons is 3 uh, total income is 9 okay so first step in uh, constructing the Lorentz curve is to find 
uh, find the proportion of income proportion of income owned by each individual okay so let us write y sub uh, superscript p is proportion of income owned by first individual so what proportion of income does the first individual hold it is uh, simply uh, 2 divided by 9 okay so 2 is the income that he owns and total income is 9 so share of income that he holds is 2 over 9 which comes out to be so i will write here this comes out to be 0 0.22 0 0.22 to that's 22 percent of total income is uh, owned by first individual similarly uh, proportion of income owned by th uh, second individual would be equal to 3 upon 10 that is percentage of pop, uh, percentage of income owned by second individual is 3 upon 9 okay so this comes out to be uh, 0 0.3 3 similarly the income owned by third person is 4 so proportion of income uh, in total population or uh, in total uh, income is 4 divided by 9 which comes out to be uh, 0.44 okay 0.44 okay first is we find the cumulative sorry uh, proportion of income uh, proportion of income of each individual in total income so 22 percent of the income is uh, with first individual 33 percent of uh, income is owned by second individual and 44 percent of the mm, uh, income is uh, owned by the third individual similarly we find the population let us say proportion of population so uh, i'm just using p uh, superscript p as for the uh, proportion of population okay of each person okay what is a uh, first individual what is the total share of population of a uh, first individual in total population that is one upon three because there are three people and percentage of first individual in total population would be one up upon three so this is three uh, 0 0.33 so i will write 0 0.33 that is person one uh, contributes 33 percent to the total population similarly second will also contribute 0 0.33 and third person will also contribute 0 0.33 uh, to the total population okay so first we find the proportion of uh, the income then proportion of population of each individual and then we define the cumulative proportion of income so let us write y superscript c is cumulative proportion of population okay so what is uh, our this is 0 0.22 cumulative proportion is simply constructed by we take the first time a uh, first term and to this term we add the next term so 0 0.22 uh, plus 0 0.33 comes out to be 0 0.55 okay and to this we add the next term that is 0 0.44 so this comes out to be 0 0.99 okay so this is cumulative pop uh, cumulative income okay similarly we will find cumulative population okay so we have here 0 0.33 0 0.33 is the first term now second term here will be formed by adding this term uh, to the first uh, term on the cumulative uh, population so this is 0.33 into 0.3 plus 0.33 comes out to be 0 0.66 and 0 0.66 uh, plus 0 0.33 comes out to be 0 0.99 since the numbers are uh, are non-terminating so if we write 0 0.99 is 1 okay so in place of this i will write 1.00 because total population should add up on to 1 i am just making it for the sake of simplicity here otherwise 0 0.99 would be also correct here okay 
now we have defined these very variables now we will construct our Lorentz curve okay so how do we construct as i have told you on the vertical on the vertical axis we plot cumulative income let's write it like this and on this axis on horizontal axis we have the cumulative what we call cumulative population okay so cumulative proportion of population cumulative proportion of income here okay so i will write here cumulative proportion of population in percentage and we have cumulative proportion of income in percentage okay so let's construct it we will use uh, so let us say this is 10 percent 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 98 so this is point ten point one means 10 percent 20 percent 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and this is 100 percent and on this axis we have same this is 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 so i will write here 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 5 6 7 8 9 and 100 so actually you can write it in percentages also okay so what would be our line of equidistribution income okay equidistribution income will mean when every proportion of population is getting same proportion of income that means uh, let's draw here so let us say this is 45 degree line let us say this is our 45 degree line this would be line of perfect equality okay when there is perfect equality our Lorentz curve will look like this okay so by perfect equality we mean that let us say 20% uh, of population receives uh, owns 20% of income 40% of population has 40% of income and so on okay but this is not the case we have the inequality in every country so we will see how to construct so let's take these two numbers these two uh, columns here so this is cumulative population this very so what does this tell us this tells us that 33 percent of the population owns 22 percent of the income so let's see here we have 30 40 so point uh, 33 would be here and they receive 22 percent of uh, the income so we have 20 30 so 22 33 so let us say this is the point okay so this point tells us that 33 percent of the population owns 22 percent of the total income or gdp in the country second point would be our that is 66 percent of the population owns 55 percent of the total income so this is six this is seven so this would be the 66 and they they have 55 percent of the total share of the income so what is our 55 is here so this would be something this uh, point and this point let us say this is the point okay and last is 100 percent of the population owns 100 percent of the income so it would be obvious here so we have 100 percent of population will own 100 percent of the total income okay so here this is zero this zero tells us that zero percent of population owns zero percent of the income and these two numbers are obvious for any country so what is our Lorentz curve then so this is simply if we join these two pointers like this here like this we have this very Lorentz curve okay i should have used the another color to make it more meaningful so where where we here 
this was 33 percent so let us use this value okay so this is our Lawrence curve for country x and if we want to calculate the Gini coefficient we can also calculate the Gini coefficient what is the Gini coefficient actually Gini coefficient actually measures the distribution of uh, distribution of income across the population okay so Gini coefficient is uh, Gini coefficient lies between 0 and 1 or 0 percent to 100 percent and 0 means perfect perfect equality when every proportion of population uh, have same proportion of income and this one means perfect uh, perfect inequality that means when the last uh, percent of the or only one individual owns all of the total income of a country okay so higher the Gini coefficient higher I will write higher the Gini coefficient means higher inequality okay so they are directly proportional to each other the more the value of Gini coefficient the more will be inequality in the country so first we will try to see what is the Gini coefficient Gini coefficient is simply the area between the straight line so sorry for the interruption so what is Gini coefficient Gini coefficient is simply the area between this straight line and the Lorentz curve so I will write this is Lorentz curve okay the area between uh, this straight line and this red Lorentz curve okay is a ratio of the area under the straight line so let us say this area is a and let us draw a line here vertical line like this okay so let us say the area below the Lorentz curve is denoted by b okay so the Gini coefficient is simply Gini coefficient Gini coefficient is simply the area which lies between the straight line and the Lorentz curve that is this very area area a upon the area which lies below this straight line okay what is the area which lies below the uh, straight line that is this area and this area that is the total area that is a plus b okay and here we can see also uh, the more um, uh, how can i interpret this if this Lorentz curve is away from the this uh, straight line there will be more equal inequality so if it is here let us say if this is like this so there would be more inequality okay so the closer uh, the Lorentz curve is to the straight line the lesser will be the inequality uh, in the country okay so let's calculate now Gini coefficient and I have told you it is the measure of distribution of uh, income across a population and higher Gini coefficient represents higher inequality okay and what is this Gini coefficient is simply the area between the straight line and the Lorentz curve as a ratio of the area under this straight line okay under this straight that is a divided by this very area upon this whole area okay so let's calculate the key coefficient here first we need to calculate the area of this very triangle this very triangle so what would be the area of this way this very triangle first okay so the area of this triangle would be equal to what is here we have uh, 0. Point, uh, we have population here it is uh, since it is a triangle so it is not a um, this is a straight line here okay these are the straight lines 
so uh, what is the area of this value triangle this is one half of what is our base base is uh, this is here 0 0.0.33 into altitude what is altitude here altitude is 0 0.22 so 0 0.22 so this comes out to be when calculating this very thing this comes out to be 0 0.03 seconds is the area of this very triangle after that we need to find the area of this very triangle oh, sorry this very trapezium okay what is the area of a trapezium area of a trapezium is equal to one half of sum of parallel sides the sum of this uh, line and this line so what is the height of this line this is 0 0.22 plus what is the height of this line we have this is 0 0.55 0 0.55 into height right or here length so what is length we have 0 0.33 0 0.66 so 6 0.66 minus 0 0.33 comes out to be 0 0.33 when solving this comes out to be 0 0.127 okay so the area of this is 0 0.036 here we have 0 0.127 similarly area of this trapezoid would be one half of sum of parallel sides so what is the height here it is 0 0.55 0 0.55 plus what is the height here one i have rounded off this into what is the height this is also 0 0.33 and it comes out to be 0 0.264 okay so this is 0 0.264 now let me rub this out to make the calculation so what is uh, this is our area b so our b is equal to b would be equal to this area that is 0 0.036 plus this area 0 0.127 plus this area 0 0.264 okay now what is our a plus b what is the total area of this value triangle if we have line of perfect equality and the area between this what would be the this what would be this very area so it is very simple since we have height is or length is base is one height is also one okay so what would be the area of this whole triangle it is one half of base is one height is one so this is one into one this comes out to be 0 0.5 okay so the area of this total triangle is 0 0.5 okay so first what is our b b comes out to be when we uh, add up this this comes out to be 0 0.427 okay what is a plus b a plus b is simply the area of this whole triangle area of this whole triangle which is equal to 0 0.5 or 1 by 2 okay now what would be the area of this very this very region it is simply equal to a would be equal to if we transpose this on rhs this is 0 0.5 minus b and our b is 0 0.427 or we can write 0 0.5 minus 0 0.427 and it comes out to be 0 0.073 okay so our a is equal to 0 0.0 seven three okay now what would be our guinea coefficient guinea guinea coefficient would be equal to area between the line of perfect equality and laws group that is a upon a plus b this comes out to be a is 0 0.073 upon what is the area here uh, this is and the whole area is point for you or we can write it like this what is our a a is zero uh, 
द एरिया ऑफ ए हैज बीन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सो फर्स्ट द एरिया ऑफ ए इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन थ्री प्लस इन प्लेस ऑफ बी वी है जीरो पॉइंट फोर टू सेवन और वी कैन सिंपली सी हियर दिस एरिया शुड कम आउट टू बी पॉइंट फाइव एंड वेन वी सॉल्व दिस इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन थ्री डिवाइड बाई जीरो पॉइंट फाइव विच कम्स आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट वन फोर सिक्स ओके सो गिनी कोप्शन टू फॉर दिस कंट्री इज जीरो पॉइंट वन फोर सिक्स ओके फॉर कंट्री एक्स नाउ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द गिनी कोप्शन टू फॉर सेकेंड कंट्री फॉर दिस आई विल रब दिस आउट ओके सो वट आर द इनकम डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फॉर सेकेंड कंट्री दिस इज सिक्स नाइन ट्वेल्व सो आई विल रेट हियर सिक्स नाइन ट्वेल्व सो वट इज द टोटल पॉपुलेशन सॉरी टोटल इनकम वुड बी ट्वेंटी सेवन ओके नाउ वट इज द प्रपोर्शन ऑफ इनकम फॉर द फर्स्ट इंडिविजुअल आउट ऑफ टोटल इनकम दैट वुड बी इक्वल टू सिक्स अपॉन द टोटल इनकम एंड इट विल ऑल्सो कम आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट टू टू सिमिलरली नाइन डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी सेवन इट ऑल्सो कम्स आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट थ्री थ्री एंड दिस ट्वेल्व अपॉन ट्वेंटी सेवन कम्स आउट टू बी पॉइंट फोर फोर सिंस वी हैव थ्री इंडिविजुअल्स सो प्रपोर्शन ऑफ पॉपुलेशन ऑफ ईच इंडिविजुअल वुड बी पॉइंट थ्री थ्री सो फर्स्ट इंडिविजुअल कंट्रीब्यूट इज थर्टी थ्री परसेंट सेकेंड ऑल्सो थर्टी थ्री लास्ट ऑल्सो थर्टी थ्री ओके सो आई एम जस्ट राउंडिंग ऑफ इट शुड कम आउट टू बी हंड्रेड परसेंट बिकॉज द नंबर्स आर साइज दैट वी कैन नॉट टर्मिनेट द नंबर्स दियर डिसमल एक्सपेंशन सो आई एज्यूम द टोटल पॉपुलेशन इज वन हंड्रेड एंड रेस्ट विल रिमेन सेम ओके सो वी विल गेट फॉर कंट्री वाई कंट्री वाई विल फॉर दैट वी विल ऑल्सो गेट द सेम रिजल्ट ओके वाई बिकॉज प्रपोर्शन ऑफ इनकम फॉर ईच इंडिविजुअल इज सेम सिक्स अपॉन ट्वेंटी सेवन इज पॉइंट टू टू नाइन अपॉन ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री सो फॉर द सेकेंड कंट्री आवर लॉरेंस करो विल कोइंसाइड विद द फर्स्ट कंट्री ओके वेन बोथ कंट्रीज हैव द सेम लॉरेंस को वी कैन से दैट बोथ कंट्रीज बोथ कंट्रीज हैव सेम लेवल ऑफ इनइक्वेलिटी ओके सो हाउ डू वी कंस्ट्रक्ट वट इज मिंट बाय द लॉर्स गो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन ऑल द थिंग्स हि ओके सो दिस लाइन इज लाइन ऑफ इक्वी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इनकम ओके द लाइन बिलो दिस स्ट्रेट लाइन विच वी ड्रा इज आवर लॉर्स गो विच वी कंस्ट्रक्टड बाई फाइंडिंग द कोमलेटिव पॉपुलेशन एंड कोमलेटिव इनकम एंड कॉरस्पॉन्डिंगली फाइंडिंग द रिक्वेस्ट पॉइंट्स एंड joining them to form our lorus go and gini coefficient was simply the area uh, which was uh, between the straight line and the lorus go as a ratio of the area which was below this very straight line okay and the steps were first we define the proportion of income owned by each individual and his proportion of total population after that we define the cumulative uh, proportion of income and cumulative proportion of population for each country after that we find that line of equi distributed income and after that we plot the cumulative proportion of income against uh, cumulative proportion of population okay and after that uh, where, as i told you this gini coefficient it seems confusing that zero should be the case of inequality but zero is the case of equality okay this gini coefficient and one means the perfect inequality okay higher the gini coefficient for a country higher would be the inequality level okay i hope i make myself clear so what does this zero means zero will simply mean if we have zero here okay so 
let us uh, rub this out first to explain it so gini coefficient lies between gini coefficient lies between 0 and 1 and 0 means perfect perfect equality and 1 means perfect inequality what does this 0 mean 0 would mean simply if I draw this Lorentz curve here in the case of 0 if it is our line of uh, equidistribution of income so in this case our Lorentz curve will coincide uh, with this line my uh, mark is, is not writing properly so in this case the area between the straight line and Lorentz curve is zero if I write it here Gini coefficient when we have would be equal to what is the area between the straight line and Lorentz curve it is zero upon 0 0.5 because I have told the area of this value triangle should be 0 0.5 it will come out to be zero and it means the case of perfect equality when each person owns same proportion of income okay and by perfect inequality what do we mean let's draw this perfect equal inequality will mean that perfect inequality will mean that no person our Lorentz curve will look like this that means only last individual here last individual owns 100 percent of the population and what is the Gini coefficient here as I told you Gini coefficient is area which lies below the straight line and which lies between uh, between the straight line and the Lorentz curve since they are same here this red line is our line of equidistribution income and this is our Lorentz curve this below one so what is the area of this very thing this would be equal to 0 0.5 in this case our Gini coefficient would be equal to so this is 0, 0 0.5 upon 0 0.5 which comes out to be 1 and in this case all the income is owned by one individual okay because this Lorentz curve is far away from the line of equidistribution of income and when we have 0 that means our line of equidistribution income and the Lorentz curve coincide in this case we have perfect equality here we have perfect inequality here oh, how it is perfect equality it means simply if we have 10 percent of population owns 10 percent of income 50 percent of population owns 50 percent of income or 100 percent of population owns 100 percent of income but in this case here 0 percent of population sorry 10 percent of population has zero percent of income okay because a ten percent of population is zero percent of income uh, let us say fifty percent of population holds zero percent of income similarly let us say this is ninety percent of population holds zero percent of income but hundred percent of population or uh, this last individual 100% of our population holds 100% of income that means this last individual holds all the total income okay so this is the case of perfect inequality this is the case of perfect equality and higher the Gini coefficient higher will be the level of inequality among the countries so for this country I guess the correct option should rather the solution should be the same inequality prevails between these two countries i hope i make myself clear in this video if you like this video please share and subscribe i am giving my 100 percent effort to make useful stuff for you people thank you